Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and this is my video tour of the Century 3 Mall in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. Hey there, it's us again. This is my brother Peter, mom and dad, and I'm Dasha. Today, we're going to be showing our friends, Andrew and Lisa, the basics of the internet, and we thought you might want to come along. It'll be cool. Yeah, I'm originally from West Mifflin. We live out here in Pleasant Hills now, and we remember when Century 3 opened. It was Kaufman's and it went to Macy's. It's just sad. I think it's a shame. Uh, there's not much places to shop around here, and pretty soon Century 3 Mall is going to close down as well. The mall's value has plummeted over the years. Tax revenue is way down as well. Bankruptcy filings, a decline in mall traffic, and with Macy's pulling out, that leaves Dick's Sporting Goods and J.C. Penney as the two remaining anchor tenants. There used to be five. Um, it's kind of, it's sad. We live five minutes from here, so driving all the way to South Hills Village is not convenient. But there's not really much of a reason to come here. So I'm finally doing a Century Three video. This mall has been heavily requested. Many, many people have contacted me asking me to do a video on Century 3, so here we are. Let's get into it. Century 3 is the fourth largest mall in the Pittsburgh region. It opened in 1979 and was remodeled in 1997. It is currently 70% vacant, and I believe once Macy's closes, that number will actually increase. It's a three-level mall uh, with 1.3 million square feet of retail space. U.S. News and World Report listed Century 3 as America's most endangered mall. Century 3 has a lot of leaking ceilings, and this is no exception. This looks like a puddle of horse urine. Uh, it was a giant puddle of yellow liquid that was dripping out of the ceiling. Uh, the smell was really bad, too. The J.C. Penney wing from where J.C. Penney is over to the fountain would probably be the busiest section of the mall uh, with the remaining stores that are in the mall are kind of all jumbled into this one area. The one thing that gets me about Century 3 is I guess when they did the remodel back in 1997, they added in carpet 
this carpet in this mall, throughout the mall, is so filthy dirty. You, there's, it's just covered with stains and mold and everything else. You can see here in this shot, look at the giant puddle of water and stains all over the carpet. It just looks so bad. This is why they should never put carpet in shopping malls. So here we are looking at the center court of the mall, and they have set up an Easter Bunny house for the upcoming Easter holiday. And here is the double-decker carousel, which, surprisingly enough, was added in the summer of 2014, which is very odd considering that there are no people in the mall, and they have this giant amusement ride sucking away electricity and no one to ride it makes absolutely no sense. Now we're approaching the three level section of the mall and the part of the mall that has absolutely no businesses left in it whatsoever. Now looking ahead you see all those different color blocks. Th those are all storefronts that are behind, that were sealed off behind uh, drywall. The carpet, we're looking at this carpet. I, I mean, the carpet, I cannot explain in more detail, <laughs> was covered with puddles, gum, spit, muck from shoes, everything you can imagine. The carpets are so dirty. Here we have plants that I don't think are still being taken care of, but while I was here, there was a huge thunderstorm outside. Very strange weather, and I could feel water, you could hear it dripping down in the ceiling and down onto the floors. There was water dripping everywhere, so they don't even need to, to maintain these plants. Mother Nature takes care of it for them. It, the water just drips down into the mall, uh, into this section over here, which I assume was probably a Sears at one time. Uh, nobody goes over here, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, turning into a jungle. As you can see, the 90s are still very much alive here at Century 3. This mall has a very strange feeling to it when you're inside. It does feel like you're going into some kind of a time warp.
I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos in the Dead Mall series. And also check out my second channel, Dan Bell's Film It. I will put a link right now. Thank you.